Have you ever wondered how the compass that you use today was invented? Well, while its exact origins are hard to pinpoint, we do know that as far back as 4,000 years ago with the ancient Greeks, there was an understanding of magnetism. Now, this can be attributed to the legend of a Greek shepherd called Magnus, who, while tending to his sheep, came across a lodestone or magnetite after the nails in his sandals became attracted to it. The word magnet was then derived from this stone and its ability to attract iron. After this discovery, our ancestors soon found a use for it, and historians believe that China was likely the first civilization to use compasses for navigation. An example of this was the South Pointer, which, as you probably guessed, was only designed to point south, and it was made from a piece of magnetite. But this wasn't the only civilization to use this stone. Vikings from Scandinavia are also said to have used a basic type of compass. This was made by dragging a needle across a lodestone which magnetized the needle. It was then placed on a small object in a bowl of water. They then only had to wait for the needle to spin itself round and align itself with the Earth's magnetic field, after which they would be shown where north and south was. Now at first nobody understood why the magnetic needles were pointing north and south. This was up until an advancement was made by an Englishman called William Gilbert in the 16th century. He began studying magnetism and concluded through experiments and research that the Earth itself was a giant magnet and it had two poles. Now as the theory behind the compasses became more research, the compass needle began being placed in the middle of a piece of card with the cardinal directions, north, south, east and west. This dry compass was later updated to include 32 points of direction on the compass rose, which then later evolved into a design including the fleur-de-lis, which can still be seen on compasses today. Now up until this point, dry compasses had been used a lot because any that were filled with liquid often leaked or couldn't be repaired very easily. Now it wasn't until 1936 that a Finnish man invented the first portable liquid-filled compass that could be used in everyday life. Now this design is still used today and seen around in schools or used on hikes, while a more updated and accurate version can be found used by ships and aircraft as well as a digital version which is found on your phone. If you've made it this far into the video thank you very much for watching. The reason I'm starting this is because when I was younger I always used to find how things were invented really interesting. I was always curious about it because I personally could never make something like all these gadgets that are around so I thought I'd just go into the history of you know how things came about seeing if anyone else finds that interesting as well because I don't really see many videos on it so yeah that's the reason but yeah thank you again for watching and uh, until the next video.